let's take a look at the capability of out of pegs in Toon Squid. First, let's look at how onion skin is arranged. Here is the access point. And once we select it, this board will appear. And from here, we can change these settings to whatever works for us. And how we can adjust the onion skin to look is located right here. If we go to the original colors, all of our drawings or frames will be the hue that we drew them in. But if we go back to tinted, a color wheel is going to pop up. Myself, I try to stay with the things that are really noticeably different because I get easily lost. In addition to color, we also have this opacity bar that encompasses the entire range of frames accessible, which is 10 in total. This icon links all the drawings or frames together, and if we break the link, we can adjust the opacity on the frames individually. Linking it back, we can go through all the variables that can present themselves in tailoring the onion skin to best suit our own workflow. Now you'll notice I've set my frame rate to 12 frames per second. So now I'm going to make my previously drawn frames fill out the scope of the 12 FPS. And then I'm going to use the out of pegs to develop my in-betweens. Opening up the onion board again, I'm going to toggle on the middle dot, which activates the out of pegs. And note that my frame selection here is in the empty space, making my frames on the canvas correspond to my chosen onion skin color. When we move over to a frame, we see our drawing shift into the selection with our onion skin mode icon changing to red. Even though I have my first frame selected here, when we choose a drawing to be out of pegs, it will correspond to the dot placement here that is related to our above frame designation. Since I selected the fifth dot under the scope of previous frames, the transform box will pick up this image based on its placement to our selected drawing that spans the two frames. And what happens is then a kind of ghost or replica of that drawing appears and I can move it around using it as an accurate reference for that intermediary image between drawing A and drawing C. This was a bit busy on the page for me, so I took the frames down so I could really focus and concentrate on sizing up the positional changes for this expression. Overall, this is a really powerful tool in helping us build our animations, especially if you are a beginner like myself. 